So the next thing I want to do is to find the night market. Uh, I'm just going to have to check Google Maps. Guys, just one thing I want to advise you on is always make sure that you have data and uh, make sure that you are able to find your way. Fortunately, I came from uh, Siem Reap and I had a data card or I had a SIM card so I didn't have to buy data again but just a word of caution, you want to know where you are at all times and where you need to be. So you need to be able to use Google Maps or whatever maps you're using. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate that I already had my SIM card and I still have data. I checked this morning and I still have about, I think about 12 gigabytes left. I bought a 15 gigabyte package uh, which should last me for about 7 days. But I've only used uh, 3 gigabytes in CM Reap and I mean I've been using it extensively. I've been sending videos. I've been using it every day for Google Maps. So, um, and I've been making video calls ho back home to my family and so forth. So, I, 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 I think the internet is probably very cheap out here. I'm not sure. I haven't done any research on that. But make sure that you have data so that you, at least you can find your way around the place. And speaking of which, I need to just double check where the night market is. If I need to take a, a tuk-tuk or if I'm going to walk there. I don't mind walking guys. You know that I, that's how I explore the city. And... Uh, but let me just check what, what the deal is. Okay, so Google Maps is showing me Phnom Penh night market just 450 meters up ahead. Woo, Phnom Penh. Loving it, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a psychological thing or, or, or what it is about that, but wherever I go, I always just need to get one activity under the belt and then I'm locked in. So right now guys, I feel like I've been in the city for a few days and I've just arrived. So uh, tell me what that is. Do you experience that as well? And it could be the smallest activity or the smallest attraction that I visit, but at least if I do it, then I know I'm in the game. I see the um, market up here guys. I don't know if it's the same market. There might be more night markets but this one says Phnom Penh night market and the other one just says night market number five or something like that uh, and it's much further so I'll probably check that out tomorrow as well this is the Riverside Park I gotta say I chose the right location uh, the hotel that I'm staying at is like right in the center of the city and I've read some of the reviews and people were saying that it gets quite loud in the evening and that you struggle to sleep uh, well I'm gonna find out <laughs> there we go that's the market Phnom Penh night market all right I don't want to lose this baby but I mean if I do there are so many options out here you can just get yourself two or three oh we have a lady on stage as well guys it's all about the shopping right I'm not big into uh, the shopping vibes but I know people who live for this I'm not going to mention names. If you know who you are, throw your hands up.
I know exactly who would love it out here. Got a few people in my life, guys, that they absolutely live for shopping. Don't get me wrong, if I need things, I would buy them. But I know people who would buy things just because they see them. We have some Levi's here as well. Have a good Levi. All right. All right. I eventually want to make my way to the food store. Shawarma. Oh, guys, another one of my weaknesses. Oh man. Why am I being tempted like this? I think that might be chicken. I'd either go for the chicken or the beef, or if they have lamb, but not the other red meat. Okay, alright guys, I messed that up. Uh, what I was saying is the red meat. Uh, the red meat should either be beef or lamb, not the other red meat. Uh, but if it's white meat, it can be chicken. Obviously, there won't be fish <laughs> at the shawarma joint. But um, that's the only options that I would go for. Also, with the fish, uh, I would rather go for hake or if it's barracuda, which we know as snook in Cape Town, South Africa, or in South Africa. Uh, I won't go for anything else. I kind of don't like the taste of the fish that I normally get in uh, most foreign countries uh, maybe it's just a personal preference but I love uh, what we have in South Africa the fish, uh, the yellowtail, hake, snook um, well there are many but I find that whenever I eat fish anywhere else in the world uh, I don't enjoy it as much nothing wrong with it it's just that I don't enjoy it as much as I enjoy the fish that we have in uh, South Africa mainly also because uh, we have so many coastlines and I know that in Cape Town we always get our fish very fresh so uh, there's no chance of uh, uh, you know the um, being imported from inland or from different countries and so forth getting to the produce area so the fresh oh no 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 it's actually uh, food the food the food court it's actually the food court check out this vibe here man people sitting on the ground here on mats having their dinners wow guys man i'm just loving it out here What is it about Southeast Asia, guys, and this and this vibe? When I mean, you see this everywhere in Southeast Asia, the uh, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, which obviously I'm going to find out now, but uh, I've seen it on videos and vlogs, and I've seen it in the Philippines. I've seen it in uh, where else? Malaysia 
Well, let's see if I can find a joint that sells uh, beef fried rice or fried rice with beef. Sorry guys, egg fried rice with beef. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm not sure if I can just take a menu. The lady's busy with some other customers right now, but I see some stuff here guys, but it's not what I'm looking for. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see food. Alrighty then. So we're gone for the beef fried rice. Look at that, guys. Alright, and some hot sauce. Oh. Oh. Mm. This hot sauce is the real deal, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's just check where I'm at. So there are people sitting in the middle there on those mats. I kind of find it a bit uncomfortable to sit like that. Uh, so I just chose a table, but it's from the same uh, little pop-up restaurant here. Mm. You'll see all these tents all around, they're all cooking different meals. Mm. The smells guys, the aromas, it's floating through the air man. And the vibe, the people are just happy and buzzing. This place is happening, for real. Okay, it's a chili sauce. And um, I just threw them all out over the food. Man, guys. The chili sauce is life. Wow. I'm gonna ask for another one. Oh. Wow, oh, this is so cool. I think they just buy their own ingredients.
Hi guys. Um, I'm feeling for one of those ice creams in the coconut. Ooh, but I can't have milk, guys. I can't have uh, anything dairy. So uh, some sacrifices are gonna have to be made. I also sacrificed the uh, Indian, Indian food. So I uh, didn't go for it. I went for the beef fried rice. Or the fried rice with beef. I can just never get it right. <laughs> Uh, so it's egg fried rice with beef there you go so um but that ice cream parlor guys man Ooh, so many smoothies as well with some lovely music on the side and now it's the guys turn